Hello everyone, and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. This is our third playthrough of the game, and hopefully we might actually finish it, so we can jump on to the other Amnesia, the one for pigs, that is. And again I'm making the same mistake at the start of the stream. stream. And don't worry, here's the key. Ah, that's good. So I want to return to this room to see if I actually missed something. I know, I know there are no, and not, there are no more spikes here. Uh, I just want to check out what's been going on. Because I really might have missed something and I don't like it. I mean, that's working, but should that be working? I'm not sure, it seems to be in check. Like, okay, that's it, let's return and actually go down where the water is. Because in the last, in the last playthrough we lowered the water levels, and now we can actually go and um, we vaccinated ourselves against the fungi infection that could damage our lungs, our organs, and then that would leave, leave us to die. So that's all that we did. I think it's all just fine. Ha ha ha! I learned how to walk. I learned how to climb down these stairs and not take an insane amount of damage falling down. So now we can actually go here. We can go through the fungi infection just because we. Uh, as I said, vaccinated ourselves. And where are we going? We're going into the sewers. Henry Bedlow went to class carrying the anger of his bitter mother. He never cried, he made others cry instead. Pain is like that. You either become sad or you become angry. Henry always chose the latter. Chose the latter. Oh. We're now in the sewers. Well, that doesn't look at all reassuring. There's a lot of fungi here. And already we have a bloke there. How lovely! He's going there so... Wait, we actually went there first. So he's there, we might actually investigate a little bit here. And I'll just be turning around a lot so I don't meet him. There is a hole in the wall. Apparently nothing here. So let's try down here. There's a couple of That was not a pleasant sound at all. That was horrific. So this is a broken ladder. Anyway we can climb it using a couple of boxes. Like is that possible? So there's something here, but like, what the hell is that sound? How was this from? Like a. Let's just close this. And what are we doing here? Do we need to find some cogs or something like that? I mean, this is a uh, another puzzle, but. How do we fix? Uh, how do we do this? Sure, what we should do with this one first. So 
So this is going to um, slow down some stuff. Oh, it's going to slow down the wheel so we can pass through it. I heard you. I heard you. Oh no. Why are you coming here? Damn it. Why are you breaking the wall of a so all of a sudden? So what you broke the you broke the goddamn door and now you're not even coming into the room. Bastard. Just giving me the fright for nothing. I mean, there's only one way that he could have went, so it's probably this way. Was that pipe? Oh yeah, that pipe was broken. Now I need to be very careful. I need, to, I need to open all four of my eyes because I wear glasses. Bam. What are you doing? Let me go! Please don't make me! Nobody ever returns! I mean, it's slower. It is still slower, but... I don't think it's slow as it needs to be. Let me just check something real fast. I'll just return there. Hopefully, hopefully we will not meet any of the baddies who will turn us into mincemeat. You know. Yeah, we can go. We can go here. When the hell did the guy show up and when did he leave? Like he just got here, busted open the door, and didn't even check the room. So let me just. So this should be like the bigger the cog wheel is. The slower it should rotate, right? Right. This sounds like it's now going super fast. As for this, slow. But yeah, I think I did. I I think I actually did it right. So let's leave it like that. And. Uh, Go go the other way and hopefully not meet anyone. Because we know that one of the one of the workers for who are apparently working for Alexander, even though he he doesn't even pay them or does anything good for them, no health insurance and stuff like that. But did something move there? It felt like I mean it seemed like something moved there. And I'm not sure that I can still pass here. No, that's... That hurted us. A wound is bleeding quite badly, so let's take a little, a little bit of laudanum. A laudanum, however we're gonna call it. I'm not sure what the right pronunciation of it is. So this is a dead end, right? So... What we're probably going to now need... Oh, it's in the box. What we're probably going to now need is some poles pull stick in and uh, block the um... let me see if I can actually take it out with a hammer no we picked up the pipe so yeah we are probably now going to be able to just stick something in it stick something into the rotating wheel and pass through to the other side. Hopefully don't meet any enemies because where the hell did those guys disappear? What, did they go into the, into the sewer holes like damn rats? Can we do this? 
Yep, we can do this right now. So we got here, but what do we gain from it? Besides progressing, of course. We blocked the wheel, so... It is impossible to get through, like, yeah, but can we... We cannot use the item in this way. How wonderful. Like, it's kind of weird, it seems like we could, but... I don't know, we might need some explosives or stuff like that. For now, we need to go here. So let's... What is this? Oh, it's actually not a... Well... Daniel, turn around this instant. You are carrying the shadow with you. Well... You don't look all that well, my friend. Like... You... And actually, I'm gonna carry this with me. I might need a hand. Is there something going to break here? Or what? Wait. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to grab the corpse and destroy the... Um... Let me just do something really stupid. I mean, this might work. Yeah, the flashbang is here. Also, I might respond a little bit slower to the chat, and I'm sorry about that, because the pop filter from my microphone is literally blocking that part of my monitor. So, if you see me do this, that's me checking the chat. Poke, poke, poke the corpse. What the... What the hell? Fuck that shit, I'm out! Actually, the other side might be better. Yeah, the other side seems to live, be a little bit more hidden. Did he not see me? Did, did he not see me or something like that? Okay, now I'm actually a little bit afraid because. He might be standing behind that wall and just like going to be like a certain type of people, you know? But oh crap! He's there, but he's taking his sweet time. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Hello, ya asshole! Please don't come this way. Thank you. Go the other way. And to see where he is going. Is he going to the left? Good. He's going to the left. So let's take this slowly. Because he opened the way for us. Yep, he opened the way. Let me just keep a uh, eye on this path, so that if the bugger shows up, I know that I need to be lined, be lined here. But he seems to have disappeared there, which is, you know, convenient enough. Where are you, Grunt? So there should be someone here, right? Let's... So let's take this one slowly. Oh, crap!
Okay, so he's standing guard there, which means that we might need to distract him somehow. Like throw a hand somewhere. So we might need to return and actually get the hand from our friend there who was convenient convenient enough to Oh, well done. Let me check if that actually worked. Yeah, the bastard left. So we might have actually enough time to sleep here. Before he returns. And let's make, let's make a beeline. Now that I have enough distance. Oh crap! Speed running tactics! Woo. That was... That was tense. <laughs> that was a little bit tense. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Are we dead yet? Or there? There is never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How could he know if Henry would show up down the road or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do it? Would do that. Well, this is a convenient crossroad, don't you think? So, where are we in right now? Let me just light this up real fast. So this seems to be another puzzle, but I'm not sure what the hell does it mean. 9th of August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warden ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servant bring one of the prisoners, a murderer he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. So, the thing is... Daniel here got afraid because he went where he went, and he found something that he shouldn't have found. Uh, he uh, found that there was some great evil. Let's just light this up. And we got a bunch of tender boxes. Let's use them. That's why we not die. What's this? This is like a big pathway down. And I'll just... Okay, let's leave it here. Let's leave that path here. So he went back and he saw, sought counsel with a couple of people. And they were all killed by this mysterious shadow of this fall. Then he gets a message from Alexander. Who is conveniently enough a baron. Of Brennenberg. And who is a persona that has been delving into the occult through becoming an apprentice of someone named Agrippa, if I am correct. So, Daniel meets with uh, Alexander, who is apparently having a good castle and he's having some really weird servants who are um, weird people. Something must be wrong with the machinery. So we probably need to go down, because the only way we might continue here is there. That door is locked, that door doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, these are just some rocks. 
So Daniel meets and he has to go to a warding ritual before actually he first meets with Alexander and Alexander shows him the ropes of this castle and how this works and Alexander shows his great occult knowledge and pretends that he, is act he actually cares for Daniel. However, Alexander is hiding some really bad juju in his basement and he was abducting people performing experiments on them and even Daniel who was afraid for his own life was forced to kill someone because uh, Alexander told them that it was a way to ward off the shadow so Alexander has his servants we are fucking clever by you. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake can you feel the syringe no I can't feel anything Alexander yes soon I won't even be able to move will I your life is safe I don't doubt that but will it be worth living? Can we do it with a hammer? Well, we cannot do it with a hammer. Why would we? Why would it be convenient, eh? Oh crap, where? Oh boy. Oh, this looks a little bit scary. It looks terrifying actually, not scary. Torture, torturing people. Why are you still alive? You want me to pull the switch? This cannot be opened from here. And this cannot be opened from here. So, let me just... Let's use it in the middle. I will pull the switch in a second, sir. I mean, he's probably a guy that wants to... Go. Oh, this is getting really big. Yeah, that looks pretty horrid. It is horrid. Also playing this in a dimly lit room. Good sir, I know this will kill you. Thank you. You have my gratitude. Oh is a great Who might you be? Daniel? Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? Oh, this is a grip. Tell me. Are you among the lion's den? You want to stop Alexander? Oh my, so Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> you hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without them all. Yeah. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically a benefit by a guest of my own. It could be breached by another. But Alexander broke his, I mean, my aim, a long time ago. Really? Well, if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken wall and mend away. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak magic, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around at the fire and the transept. You should be able to find them there. So, this is Agrippa, and it seems like Alexander. I hate to bother you, uh, yet, but if you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at it. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Hyde, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help me. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. 
I, uh, okay, I will do that. I will do that, but it seems like Alexander has been trying to make either for one of his slaves. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. As I'm saying, it seems like this is actually... Uh, that uh, Alexander was trying to make Agrippa one of his servants or punish him or do whatever the hell I'm not even sure right now. Uh, so this room doesn't seem to have anything let me just check again yeah, there, was a, there was a single tender box in it at least now we know that we can distract enemies with throwing stones, so... Nothing here. Oh well. So yeah, Alexander is trying to take a lot of power. The chancel. Okay, let's check what what is to do for. Oh, there is a room. There is another room. Ah, close room. Also that on the other side. Probably. Yeah. So how much oil do we have? We have three oil, we'll have a half full of lantern. Which is fine. There's something rotten here and it's not this apple. You know what I mean? So these are probably the torture chambers or stuff like that. Man, Alexander is fucked up. But I mean, who 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 isn't and is star is and is creep star fire the gunner. Sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. The cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Uh, they will be back. So, yeah, coming back. Uh, Alexander needed subjects for experimenting after finding that animals are not good. Enough, I believe, but uh, that would raise suspicion. So he hired other people. What the hell picked up meat? Meat. Interesting. Was there something reddish there? Oh, come on, that fall hurt me. Let's actually check back with Agrippa for a second. He might tell us something again. Good to see you. Me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. I just want to be quite important to you. Baron Alexander has stained my soul in his dead heart for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. You've been hundreds of years. You've been hundreds of years in that state. Jesus, man. You have some mental fortitude not to go insane. That's... Whoa. So when Alexander is old like the Bible, it seems. Let's go to the, um, the chancel. 